Hi, welcome to Easy to Keto. So today I felt like I wanted to make some nice comfort food and especially Indian comfort food. But if you're new to this channel, be sure you take a minute to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so that every time I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. But anyway, so back to our Indian comfort food. So today I'm making khichdi. So if you're not familiar with khichdi, it's basically a porridge-like mixture and it's made with rice and thur dal, which is a type of lentil. Now, one of the things being an Indian, being a vegetarian, and being on keto is that I sometimes miss those very familiar foods and very comfort foods that, that make me happy. The easiest thing I've found to do is to kind of mimic or substitute those flavors that I'm missing with what is available to me and what is keto friendly. So in this case, today we're using ground lupin. Now I've showed you many recipes using ground lupin, but this thing is so, so versatile that you can really change up the flavors and use it as a base and whatever you add to it, it kind of takes on the flavor. And now kichiri also tends to have like potatoes and peas and, and different kinds of vegetables in it as well. So instead of potatoes, I'm gonna be using cauliflower today, which is also keto friendly. So let's get started. So right here I have three tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter and I'm going to allow it to heat up in a non-stick medium-sized pan. And once the ghee is hot, I'm going to add one piece of cinnamon and just let it flavor the oil for a few seconds. After about 30 seconds, I have half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and let them sizzle. And here's two tablespoons of raw peanuts. And about 30 seconds later, I have a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and about an eighth teaspoon of asafoetida or heme. And immediately I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of minced ginger. It's about four garlic cloves that I've sliced roughly. And one green chili that I've slipped. And once it's mixed in, I have half a cup of chopped onions. And let's sprinkle just a little bit of salt. And I have four cloves, which I've powdered in my mortar and pestle, and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper powder. We're going to cook this until the onions are translucent. So the onions look perfect. They've been cooking for about two minutes and I have four cups or about one pound of cauliflower. And now this is cauliflower that I've just basically chopped up very roughly and I've used the stem as well. Add that in. It looks like a lot right now, but it will shrink. And I'm also going to salt the cauliflower and give it a mix. You mix it really well until the cauliflower is completely coated with the oil. And we're going to cover and cook this until the cauliflower is about three quarters of the way cooked. Be sure you stir in between. So the cauliflower has been cooking for about five to six minutes. Take a look. And this is perfect. If you take a piece like that and just try it out, it should have a nice firm texture, but still be somewhat tender. And now it's time for a ground lupin. This is one cup of ground lupin, and it's dry right out of the package. I'm gonna pour it in there, and I'm gonna toss it so that it gets nicely coated with the oil and nicely mixed with the cauliflower. And when it's mixed in, we're gonna add two cups of water. Give it 
another good mix. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt also just for the lupin portion of it. And once again, we're going to cover this and let this cook until all the water is completely absorbed with the lupin or almost all completely dry. She's been cooking for a couple of minutes. I have just about a quarter cup of green peas. Now, peas are not allowed technically on the keto diet, but this, just a little bit of them, really makes you feel like you're eating real kitchen-y. So I'm willing to sacrifice that many carbs. So the kitchen has been cooking for about five to six minutes. And let's take a final look here. Most of the moisture is gone, and this is actually perfect. Now the cauliflower has finished cooking as well. And if you'd like it even drier, you can uncover it and just let it dry out. But otherwise, it's ready to serve. So the kitchidi is ready and it looks amazing. Now, kitchidi is one of those things that uh, is very mushy or it can be very mushy or it can be very like separate, separate. You can see the, the rice grain separate and the dal grain separate. Some people like it like that. I've always preferred my kitchidi on the mushy side. So this uh, lupin texture is perfect for that. But the fact that the cauliflower is in there and especially the stalks of the cauliflower, you still get the feeling that you're eating potatoes and the peas, like I said, it's worth it just a little bit just for the color and I think mentally it makes you feel like you're still eating the real thing. The taste is there but we eat with our eyes so that's that. One last thing, let's give it a try. Mm. The flavor is so close, it's fantastic. And the texture, I got a little piece of peanut, it, it gives a little uh, crunch. It, the cauliflower also has some texture to it. So with all of that going on, you still feel like it's kitchidi. So you can enjoy this kitchidi all by itself. It tastes amazing. If you're gonna have uh, protein or some kind of meat or something like that, this makes a great side dish. And the way I love to eat it is kitchidi and curry. So curry is my next step and I'm gonna run off and make that. So be sure you check back and look at that video as well. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and uh, let me know what you think about it. If you make it, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. So remember, it's easy to keto if you know how. Thanks for watching, bye.